Welcome to the Transparent FX Academy. I'm Nick and I'm a top order in trading with over 190k reputation points. In this video, I will be speaking about USD CAD. Now, as usual, to keep the video as educational as possible, first I will be covering the technical aspect for this market, then we will be moving to the order flow by looking at the commitment of traders, so the COT data, so essentially what hedge funds and the big players in the market are doing precisely on the CAD. And by the end of the video, by using a combination of these two different types of analysis, we will try to understand where we have the highest probabilities for the next potential move here for this pair. So this is definitely a video you do not want to miss. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. This is the place to be for high quality, free trading education. Now, without further ado, let's jump straight onto the charts. Starting here from the monthly time frame, what we can see is that at the moment the market is testing and already rejecting to the upside a quite important structure level for this market. In fact, this zone was already acting as resistance here, preceding all this move to the downside. Then the market broke above the zone with this impulse. And what we know is that previous resistance, once it is broken to the upside, becomes support. So as the market is testing here this previous monthly resistance turn support, we could expect some bullish continuation to be created away from this level. So from a monthly standpoint, everything seems quite bullish and we could expect more potential bullish continuation to be created away from this level. Dropping down on the weekly time frame, what do we see? Well, from a weekly perspective, the situation is quite clear as well. We can notice how this level has been acting as quite important structure. It was acting as previous weekly resistance here, again, acting as resistance here and here, then the market broke above the zone and all this previous resistance was turned support exactly at this level. And the market started respecting this area as support here with the rejection to the upside. And now it is testing the exact same zone and we can already see the start of yet another rejection to the upside. So in a situation like this, more bullish continuation could be expected away from this level. We can also notice that from a pattern standpoint, we have a clear impulse followed by this correction. And in general, after an impulse, if you want to measure the correction, what you have to do is take your Fibonacci from the low to the high of the impulse leg. And if we do that, we can see how we have the 50%, 0.618 and 0.786 Fibonacci retracements all aligning up exactly in this area of price. Now, this means that inside of this area, we have confluence of support because we have both the Fibonacci levels and the horizontal structure both lining up in the same area of price, therefore creating confluence of support. And when you have confluence of support, what you would expect is a potential rejection to the upside away from an area. Dropping down on the daily time frame, what do we see? Well, from a daily perspective, the situation is quite clear. We have a market which clearly was creating lower lows and lower highs. Now we just had the shift back from a bearish market to now a bullish market since we had this impulse to the upside here, this one here, which broke above this level. This zone, in fact, is not just a random level, but it is a very important structured zone, which was acting previously as support, preceding all these rejections to the upside. Then the market broke it to the downside and respected it here as resistance with this rejection to the downside. And now that the market has broken it back to the upside is once again acting as support. So what we could expect here is a potential retest of this previous resistance turn support and then to see a rejection to the upside, keeping in mind that since this area is confluence of support on the weekly time frame, as we have just identified, inside of a confluence of support zone, you have increased probability of getting institutional longing, which at that point would further increase the probabilities 
of a potential rejection to the upside away from this level. Now, speaking about institutional longing, let's go and see what we have when it comes to the commitment of traders. So what hedge funds and the big players in the market are doing, and let's check the data precisely for the CAD. Now, what we can see here is that with the last reports, net positions have been decreased. We went from having minus 63.2K net positions down to minus 80.3K net positions. So institutions have been moving back to the bearish side for the CAD, making it weaker. And keep in mind that all currencies on the spot are traded against the USD. So a weakening CAD makes USD CAD stronger. And what we can see here is that, in fact, as institutions are weakening the CAD, therefore longing the USD CAD, inside of a confluence of support zone, that would increase the probabilities of a potential rejection to the upside away from this area. So in a situation like this, what would I expect? Well, first of all, by the way, if you still haven't, make sure that you join my free Telegram channel, which you find both on the screen and also linked in the description, so you never miss new updates. Now, back to the analysis. As I was saying, in a situation like this, it, what would I expect? Well, as usual, trading is reactive and not predictive. The monthly, weekly, and daily timeframes combined with the COT data, those are the best timeframes when it comes to the directional aspect of the market. However, when it comes to identifying early shifts in the trend of a market, the best timeframes for that are the intraday timeframes, so for our and lower. Therefore, what I would expect is that if this market would shift, from an intraday bearish to an intraday bullish market at that point, I wouldn't be surprised to see a potential rejection to the upside away from this level, completing this daily impulse correction and impulse pattern to the upside. Now, if you want to learn more, I really suggest that you go and check out the transparentfxtrading.com website, which you'll find linked in the description. From here, in fact, you will have the possibility to gain access to my entire courses. You will also have the possibility to gain access to one-on-one -on -one live private mentoring directly with me, the VIP market breakdowns with the Telegram signals, the COT data software, which is precisely the one that we used in this video, the trading station software, which puts together everything that you need as a trader all in one interface. And if you continue to scroll down the website past the testimonials, you will see that you have the possibility to join and gain automatically access with email and password that you will create during the sign up process. So I really suggest that you go and check it out as soon as possible. The link is in the description and I will see you in it. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to drop a like and also let me know in the comments below any new pairs or topics that you would like me to cover in the next videos. And I will see you in my next breakdown.